Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a commentary over Advanced Warfare on a game of Team Deathmatch. So, I was just casually live streaming. If you guys want to follow me on Twitch, um, my username will be in the description below. Or you can just do it right now. It's StramaticYT. Um, so, I wasn't really expecting to do this good. In my opinion, I did pretty good. Because, like, I'm not no try-hard, you know, crazy MLG optic gaming gamer you know what i mean so um i'm pretty sure i went 42 and 8 um yeah i was using um for my score streaks i was using a normal aerial assault drone so i do not recommend these things at all they're like these just little drones that are just so bad when you click r2 they just like launch to the ground which is terrible and most of the time doesn't even kill the person I was also using a UAV with extra time, threat detection, and support. So support helped out because whenever I die, I would still have the score towards the UAV. I used threat detection so I could see the enemies through the walls. And it would just make it a lot easier to see the enemies and know where they were. And uh, extra time just because, you know, it would be better if it was longer. Orbital care package. So for that... I uh, used support just so when I died, you know, I wouldn't lose it. I was also using better odds. So, better odds is okay. I mean, I recommend it. It gives you legit better odds. I got two bombing runs in this game. Um, and double tap. So, the first orbital care package I got in this game, it was actually a hardened sentry. But when I double tap, it, uh, it became um, a bombing run. So, it was really good. I was also using a uh, remote turn with support just so when I die, you know, I do not lose the remote turn. 360 turret head so that it can spin all around, not just in one place because like normally the turret will only go like about 45 degrees each way and it's kind of annoying because it can't turn around or anything, but with 360 turn head it can do a full spin and rotate so it's really good. I was also using sentry for it so that um, while I'm using my weapon, it can be killing people while I'm killing other people, if you guys understand. Basically, the old turns from like Black Ops 1 where it would just, you place it down and it kills people, that's basically what it is. So my weapon I was using was the AK-12 and I was not using any attachments. I know I'm probably going to get some hate for this, but I was actually trying to get gold for this weapon. And, um, I wasn't using any attachments, because for gold, you have to get 200 kills with no attachments. So, I was just going for that. I wasn't really expecting to do this good. In my opinion, this was pretty good. Um, I mean, I, I died eight times, but in my opinion, that's fine, because it's one of my best games. Um, so, what my strategy was, was to kind of, like, go around and get to their spawn and once i killed the people like a couple people at the spawn i'd rush to mid so then they would kind of like rush back up just so i wouldn't stay in their spawn and then i die a bunch of times because the spawns in this game are actually pretty bad um and yeah so i'm just gonna end the commentary here the video will go on um if you guys enjoyed this short commentary and the video subscribe like and comment any more suggestions if you guys want to do any more commentaries or any other ch gun challenges any other games gameplay yeah just put it in the comments below and i'll be sure to check it out